Hello you lovely Mario Maker person, my name is Steve and welcome back. We often put Mario into horrible and dangerous situations, where he needs to survive until the timer expires. And while these ideas may not be Mario's favorite ideas, they are pretty useful and universally usable. While we often talk about how to create traumatizing timer experiences for a plumber, we actually never talked about how to create timers in detail. So today we're going to take a look on 5 specific and easy to set up timer contraptions and we'll take a look on a couple of ideas using them. There's the Shellmet timer, the bob omp alarm, the Skewer clock, the Track trigger and of course the infamous Wiggle trigger. So are you ready? Let's do this! The first timer we're going to take a look at is the shell mat timer. This timer can be easily created by placing a shell mat on top of a spring, blocking the path of the shell mat by brick blocks and ending this path with a power block. Ok, so let's take a look on a shell mat timer in action. Once Mario enters this room, the timer starts and he has to survive a two phase long boss fight against Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is hiding on top of a muncher to the right and can't be attacked by Mario. Mario is trapped in this room. His only chance of surviving is to dodge the lethal fireballs which Bowser Jr. is spitting towards him. There are currently two lava bubbles cycling up and down to the right and left which make Mario's job even harder here. Luckily, after a while, the shell mat timer expires and triggers phase 2 of this fight. This leads to a couple of interesting things. Bowser Jr. enters the arena and can finally be hit by Mario. A fire flower magically drops from the ceiling and a third lava bubble starts to cycle up and down in the middle of the room. All that's now left to do for Mario is to defeat Bowser Jr. and he's done with the first idea of the day. Hooray! If you want to create a shell mat timer, which runs for a very long time, it's possible to use a setup like this one. Here a bullet blaster shoots shells into a small corridor at the bottom. Luckily for a plumber there are only 3 brick blocks blocking the exit vine containing question block, because surviving in this area is no easy task. Shell mat timers are really easy to set up and are capable of doing many small evil things to Mario. But sometimes timing something with a shell isn't the best way to do it. Sometimes we need something a little bit more explosive. So let's take a look on the Bob Omp alarm. The idea here is to use the Bob Omp's explosive skills in order to create a timer. Mario is trapped in the middle of a dangerous clock. He has to dodge the horrifying saw blades and deadly cannonballs while he waits for the Bob Omp to his left to ignite. The Bob Arm cycles on top of tracks and gets ignited as soon as he hits the fire bar above him. Once the Bob Omp explodes, it's finally possible for Mario to leave this horrifying clock and to enter our next idea. Up until now, we always use timer to create a challenge where Mario has to survive for a set amount of time. But for this idea, we use a Bob Omp alarm to do the exact opposite. Mario finds himself in a small tower, built out of brick blocks and inhabited by dangerous saw blades. Luckily our plumber is a really skilled jumper and making his way to the top here is no big problem for him. But sadly making it to the top is not the only challenge here. Once the Bob Omp alarm expires the floor turns into shiny but deadly coins and Mario falls to his doom. So if Mario wants to escape this idea alive, he not only needs to jump good, but also to jump fast, so that he reaches the exit door before the tower collapses. Next up is the skewer clock. Skewer clocks are really easy to set up and can run for a surprisingly long time and can be set up in a way to trigger a P-switch or a power block or to reward a key or to activate a question block once expired. The main idea here is to abuse the fact that skewers interact with almost nothing but blocks. So let's take a look on an idea featuring a skewer clock. Here we trapped Mario underwater. His movement options are limited as he's only able to swim up or down. This wouldn't be a huge problem if it wasn't for the cannons which constantly shoot cannonballs towards our poor plumber. At the top is a skewer clock which expires after 22 seconds and then finally opens up the exit path. Let's take a look on our next timer design, the track trigger. This timer is probably the easiest to set up and can be used to activate tons of different things. Here for example we use one to spawn a fire flower after a set amount of time. 
and here we trigger a spiny, which then madly starts to destroy blocks for us. So let's take a look on an idea using it. Mario is trapped in a room on top of lethal saw blades. Luckily he brought his legendary Goomba shoe with him and is able to bounce on top of the blades. Sadly there is still the ceiling which tries to crush him, but after a while the track trigger triggers and Mario is able to escape. Ok, last but certainly not least we have the Wiggler Trigger. The Wiggler Trigger is basically a glorified version of a big enemy hitting a P-switch. What's really cool about this though is that it's possible to create out of sight timers this way which start once Mario reaches a certain spot in a level. Here for example we make use of this. As soon as our plumber enters this room the Wiggler gets loaded, triggers a P-switch and forces this bullet blaster to fall down. Now Mario has to dodge the cannonballs which are shot into this area like crazy. Once the timer finally expired, the bullet blaster drops down again and this little mole starts to chase Mario. Luckily this mole carries the exit key as well, which opens up the next area of this idea for Mario. Here Mario has to dodge cannonballs again, while he waits for the wiggle trigger to expire. What's different here though is that once the timer ends the wiggler dies and Mario gets the key immediately. While wigglers are definitely the best enemy choice when creating a wiggle trigger most of the time, sometimes it makes sense to create a wiggle trigger not featuring a wiggler but a spike top. Here Mario has to dodge the fireballs which these piranha plants spit towards him while he waits for the wiggle trigger featuring a spike top to expire. Wow, Mario really has to do a lot of waiting today. Luckily for him he's almost finished with today's video, but there's one last thing he needs to survive. One final boss fight against Bowser Jr. which combines all the timers of this video. This is going to be a little bit chaotic. There are tons of different timers placed around the arena which constantly add new threats to this boss fight. First Goombas fall from the top, then the arena floor layout changes only to change again a little bit later when springs drop into the arena and Bowser Jr. finally enters it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you enjoyed it don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially wiggly trigger today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye!